Hello and welcome to another episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I hope you're having a really great day wherever you're at today. In today's episode, we're going to talk about this envelope and more specifically, the contents that arrived inside of it. Uh, this is a beautiful envelope. This comes from Singapore. I really like the two seashell stamps on the front, but I especially like this really long stamp here at the edge of the envelope. Uh, this comes from a viewer. This comes from AW. And now AW, I am terrible uh, at pronouncing names, so I'm not going to try to pronounce your full name. Uh, so please excuse me for that. Uh, but they wrote me a really wonderful letter uh, saying that they live in Singapore. They enjoy watching my videos. And thank you so very much for watching the channel. And so they have graciously enclosed uh, lots of items for me. This is the first. Uh, this is a postcard uh, showing the Singapore Airlines. So a really beautiful postcard. Uh, I like the images of uh, Singapore and the airline. And then it is a blank postcard. So I can send it out in post crossing. And then they've also included another postcard. And I really like this one. This is the Singapore Airlines Premium uh, Economy Class, a great way to fly. And it just shows off all of the comfort of their airline. And I think it is also a really nice postcard. And then I received all of these stamps. Uh, so many stamps. These are stamps from Japan as well as Singapore. They are two countries uh, that AW currently collects. And so they were very generous uh, to send along these stamps to me. So I have not taken them out um, of this cover. I thought we would do that together and uh, discover these stamps together at the same time. So I'm going to move this out of the way. But here is the first stamp. This is from Japan. Uh, this is uh, a Charlie Brown stamp. There we have Woodchuck. That's a really great stamp. And there is another stamp. And I am going to lay these stamps out side by side so hopefully you can see them now as far as japanese stamps uh, japan is not a country that i collect actively uh, what that means to me is that i i'm not going out um online or, or stamp shows or anything and actively looking for Japanese stamps. Uh, now, sometimes I'm looking for stamps to fill my thematic collections. And in doing so, I come across uh, some really nice stamps from Japan that uh, meet my thematic needs. Uh, having said that, though, I do have, um, I, I would say, a, a fair amount of Japanese stamps in my collection. Uh, I tend to buy large lots of stamps, especially when I first started collecting stamps. One of the one of the things that I did is I didn't really know what I liked. And for someone who is new to stamp collecting, um, it really takes a while, I think, to find your niche, to find what you really like. Um, I really like this stamp right here. That's a really nice stamp. And uh, so in order to do that and to know what was out there, I simply bought large lots. I would buy, uh, you know, 500 stamps at a time or 1,000 stamps at a time. Uh, they would be mixed countries. And uh, I would buy them relatively inexpensive. And then I had great fun uh, whenever they arrived sorting those stamps and uh, uh, keeping what I liked, uh, trading with other collectors, um, 
sometimes I, I would have duplicates and a lot of duplicates that way. And uh, it was just a lot of fun uh, to do that, to collect uh, to collect stamps like that by large lots. And in doing so, like I said, um, that's primarily how I've how I've gotten most of the stamps that uh, that come from Japan. All right, now we're going to look at some stamps from Singapore. And Singapore, also another country that I don't actively collect, but I know that they have some really beautiful postage stamps. And now, if you're familiar with my channel and you're thinking, hey, Smoke, I hear you all the time saying that uh, such and such country, well, this is a nice stamp right here. I really, really enjoyed that stamp. Um, Anyway, if you hear me all the time say, wow, such and such country has really nice postage stamps. Um, what gives? Well, it's because I think uh, every nation that produces postage stamps produces some really nice stamps. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm in love with every stamp that every country produces, of course not. But I think that within a country, uh, you can find stamps that really appeal uh, to any person. And that's uh, that's what I do. And so that's why one of my thematic collections is called Just Because. I've spoken about that before. It is an album that I have that is full of stamps uh, whose sole purpose for being in my album is just because I like them. Maybe I like the artwork. Maybe I like the subject matter. Maybe they make me smile or laugh or uh, bring some emotion to me, but my only reason for collecting them is not because they fit a theme, not because they fit a country I collect, not because they're from a certain year that's special to me. They're just simply just because I like the stamp. And so I think that's true of any country. And that's probably why I'm a worldwide collector. I fought that for a long time. Uh, I thought, man, I really have to be a specialized collector. And I do specialize. I, I collect the micro countries of Europe, uh, you know, Vatican City, Andorra, San Marino, uh, Liechtenstein. I, I collect those micro countries. Those are probably my main focus, uh, along with uh, Great Britain. But I'm a worldwide collector uh, simply because I love stamps. And speaking of liking stamps... Let me get this one in the frame. Boy, I really like uh, this, this stamp here, this round stamp. And then I re also received a couple of envelopes. Oh, and these are really nice. These are Zodiac signs. I'm just gonna scoot these out of the way for a moment. And I believe this is a complete set of Zodiac stamp or Zodiac sign stamps from Japan. Now I have seen these stamps before. And they are really nice stamps. You know, that's the great thing about stamp collecting is that you can collect whatever you want. There are so many areas that you can delve into. There are so many things uh, that you can do. You can collect by country. You can collect by time period. There are a lot of people who collect a specific country, but they collect by time period. Uh, and then these are really nice stamps. I really like the color. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but they sparkle. And so those are really, really nice. Uh, you can collect by theme, and there are as many themes as one person uh, can have in their imagination. Um, I collect several themes. I collect long necked animals. As far as I know, I'm the only person who collects long necked animals. Now, I'm sure there's somebody else out there like me who does that. This is another uh, set of stamps from Japan. I collect uh, churches on stamps. I collect cartoons on stamps. 
so I have several themes that I collect. But in the end, uh, if I see something new that I like, I will collect it. And oftentimes it does end up in the Just Because series. So this looks like a set of fruit and vegetable, excuse me, vegetable stamps from Japan. And a really nice set at that. All right, well, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you uh, to AW. Thank you so much uh, for your generosity. Thank you for the postcards, uh, for the stamps you used on the cover. And for these great stamps from Singapore and Japan, I'm going to have a really great time uh, putting them in my collection and cataloging uh, each one of them. So once again, thank you so much for sharing them with me. And I really, really appreciate it thank you for watching the channel uh if you haven't done so please consider subscribing to the channel i'd really really appreciate that uh don't forget to hit the thumbs up and also leave me a comment and so until next time have a great day bye bye